today we are going to <coughs> just run in all electricity and let it run out on its own in EV mode. And see what our difference in fuel economy is versus using EV auto. Ooh. So unfortunately here the engine actually ran for 3.4 miles in the beginning because I accidentally and this is one of my pet peeves I have about the Prius Prime which I'll put another video this is a handful of them that uh, the I hit the defroster uh, button when I was changing the temperature on the screen and when you put on the defroster the front defroster the engine has to run so I didn't really figure this out uh, till about 3.4 miles into the drive so messes up things a little bit but I'm not taking this trip for a little while so it's gonna have to do again not very scientific but uh... so we only used a 0.07 gallons in that uh, mess up but uh, I don't think it'll matter much okay so here's our accelerating up this large hill that in EV auto it kicks in the engine but uh, if you're just in regular EV you can accelerate up and pretty good without the, any engine. If anything, I actually think it's a little better in EV mode. More smooth. My favorite thing about this car is just how smooth it drives when it's an EV. I'm always so sad when uh, it runs out of electricity and you have to drive in hybrid mode. It's still a really cool car then, but uh, I mean, even environmental and monetary thoughts aside, it's just oh, it's so nice to drive an EV. If you watch the other video, I'll do a video with the comparing the two, but if you go back and look at the first one, which is uh, run, running EV Auto, you can, oh, it's just a world of difference hearing the noise of that engine trying to crawl up that hill. Um, but. I'll let you listen to it and enjoy it for a little bit in real time. Another hill I got cruise set on 62 here. Power right up this hill just fine. As you see that range dropping off pretty dramatically. Oh, we have a car in front of us up here. Forces just to go a little slower. Thought I had on 62. dynamic cruise on right now and I'm not touching the brake at all so it's gonna oh it didn't come to a complete stop it will come to a complete stop and then say waiting and then it will wait until you release either hit the resume on the cruise or the gas pedal
here you see I actually get out of the car for a couple minutes and I turn off the AC and you'll see it uses 0.3 kilowatts uh, just sitting there with no AC on. I think I did have my heat seat on though so the seat heater was using that. And daytime running lights and whatnot. Just the whole system. <laughs> go our engine has turned on we have ran out of electricity and we're now using fuel again Just an interesting little uh, thing for me to see the difference between the two. Uh, I don't usually drive with the engine on too much, so I don't get to test this too often. Um, I will be the next, uh, there's two more videos like this, and then I will do some on my regular commute where I very rarely use the engine. I can almost always make it to work. It's about 20 miles to work, and I can make it... Uh, most days as long as it's above it's around 37 or warmer i can usually make it to and from work with no gas every once in a while i'll use like 0.05 gallons of gas for that day uh, it might kick on right before i get to work or right before i get home as long as i go straight uh, to and from work but so 0.31 gallons use we won't use any more fuel from here on in uh 0.33 was used last time when I did the EV auto to the end. Uh, so obviously not the super scientific test as I ran that defroster for 3.4 miles at the beginning which made the engine run and different variances in traffic and whatnot. Uh, but uh, uh, you can also see that 13% uh, of the electricity was used for the heater. But uh, if you like these, uh, subscribe. There will be a few more. And I'll be making a bunch of other videos on the Prius Prime. And uh, like, dislike, comment, any questions or complaints. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Have fun.